What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And of course today we got update 1.28. Uh, I'm going to link these patch notes down in the description below. But they did talk about one thing with this that I thought this update may include. Or kind of was, uh, I guess, tailored around this. And of course that is the haunting event that is coming to Warzone. Uh, or Modern Warfare and Warzone. Of course that starts on October the 20th. It says the haunting introduces a nighttime map for Warzone with more information on this event coming soon. So like I said, I, I was thinking that this update may have something to do with that event, but that's not really the case. Let's go ahead and hop into what exactly this update did. Of course, it says uh, in this update, PC players can now select what content they'd like to install on their machines. It says open the Battle.net launcher, uh, select Call of Duty Modern Warfare, select options, select modify, install, under game content, select modify, install, and uncheck the content you wish to uninstall. Uh, uninstall. Uh, Warzone, of course, cannot be uninstalled. So you can uninstall the campaign, multiplayer, spec ops, of course, then you select confirm, and then select start install. Um, the thing that is kind of odd to me is this has been around on console for a while now, and they're just now adding this to PC almost a year later. I think it's a little bit late, but. Some people that are just Warzone fans that are going to plan on continue playing Warzone for the next several months, maybe the next year, uh, should be able to, you know, maybe clear up some space. Uh, the thing that I find odd with this, uh, of course, on PS4, I have done this. I have gotten rid of everything but the multiplayer, and I saw just a very minimum uh, change in size of the file. It was like two or three gigs. Uh, I had some friends, and I've also seen some people online saying that when they did it, they saw no change whatsoever, that the file size was the same. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'm not sure exactly what it's getting rid of. But like I said, I know mine went down about two or three gigabytes, and that was it. I was expecting a lot more of the way they kind of talked about this. Uh, I was expecting a lot more of a change in file size. Anyway, some other things that, of course, changed today was the playlist update. We got Ground War, Gunfight, um, Deathmatch Domination plus Drop Zone, Gun Game TDM, uh, HQ Firefight teams can add their uh, add to their score by capturing the headquarters and also getting kills. In Warzone, removing Blood Money quads and adding Plunder quads. And when it comes to general fixes, uh, a fix for where the next unlocks uh, section of sh was showing attachments out of order, a fix for an issue where teammates could spawn inside a closed off room on broadcast, a fix for a bug where grenades could fall from the floor in the foreman's office while uh, in the tank factory a fix for lightning uh, lighting issue with the gilded arm variant for the season six pass fix for an issue where players could experience a crash after reaching wave 45 or higher in survival mode and also improved stability for pc now when it comes to weapons uh, they increased minimum damage at range on the car 98 in warzone and reduced minimum damage at range on the spr 208 in warzone of course, for Warzone fixes, uh, they did have fixes to help improve volume levels with war track sliders, fixes to help prevent players from dying while uh, completing the subway puzzle, a fix for a bug where players might be able to access Bunker 11, a fix for gas mask bug when players were attempting to complete the uh, station pu uh, puzzle, a fix for a collision bug uh, in the underground road on the west side of the airport, a fix for a bug where players could experience a crash after engaging with a bounty contract. And that is it. Uh, not a lot of changes for multiplayer or anything like that. Most everything today was for Warzone and, of course, just some general fixes. And, of course, uh, like I said, that the ability for PC players to be able to get rid of some of the file size, you know, of course, of the game on PC. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.